Welcome everyone to part 2 of me and Mystic Umbreon's top 10 Mega Evolutions for Gen 8 video. If you haven't seen part 1, be sure to head to Mystic's channel to watch it since it outlines how we've arrived at these picks and also covers the first 5 Mega Evolutions on our list. The video link will be in the description below. If you have seen it, then let's jump right into part 2 with the Pokemon fans' top 5 most wanted Megas. Starting off the top 5 is none other than Dragonite. Now aside from the memeable nature of its potential Mega Stone name, no seriously, would it be the Dragonite? The Dragonite-ite? Maybe the Draconite could work. Who knows? Dragonite is a fantastic candidate because even though it's considered to be a pseudo-legendary, right now it's just below OU in competitive battling, and a Mega could certainly make it jump to upper OU. Besides, literally every other pseudo-legendary from Gen 4 or earlier has gotten a Mega besides Dragonite, so it's about time. Dragonite's evolutionary line is so interesting that it's actually one of the few Pokemon we would love to see a split Mega evolution for. Mega Dragonite X and Mega Dragonite Y, similar to what Mewtwo and Charizard have. Mega Dragonite X would be a wicked looking dragon and steel type, with its only weaknesses being to fighting and ground. With its heavy armor, Dragonite would not gain any speed, but it would gain a lot of base stats in defense and attack especially. To avoid becoming overpowered like some of the other Mega Pseudo Legendaries, Mega Dragonite X would lose its multi-scale ability and would instead get weak armor, meaning upon being hit by a physical move, its defense would decrease by one stage, but its speed would increase by one stage. Mega Dragonite Y on the other hand would maintain Dragonite's Dragon and Flying type and would be based more closely on Dragonair's design, which a lot of fans want to see since it looks so different from Dragonite itself. This Mega Evolution would be much more specially based, with a higher special attack and much higher speed without the armor. For this Mega Evolution, we think that it should maintain multi-scale since its typing will still be 4 times weak to ice, and its defenses wouldn't be as high as Dragonite X's. This is a Pokemon that I have seen get so much love. People love Luxray's design and they really enjoy using it on their Sinnoh teams. I am one of those people. Luxray was one of the first Pokemon I used on my Pokemon Diamond team back in the day. That's why I like it so much. Though I really love Luxray, there's always something about it that always kind of bugged me about it. And that was its typing. It's pure electric. Shouldn't it be electric dark? I mean look at its design. It just screams electric dark type Pokemon. Plus it has moves like Crunch and Bite, and I mean, yeah, other Pokemon have those moves too that aren't Dark-type, but come on, you can't tell me you don't see Dark-type in Luxray. I think if Luxray were to get a Mega Evolution, it should definitely get the Electric Dark typing. This design by Zero Des completely captures my imagination of how a Mega Luxray would look. It captures its stars it has on its body, and it has that touch of black with the little electric shards on it. For its ability, I would give it Strong Jaw, due to that Luxray having a lot of bite-based attacks. Stat upgrades are 140 attack, 85 in defense, 118 special attack, 85 in special defense, and 115 in speed. I love Luxray. Let's give this thing a Mega. At number 3, taking the bronze medal is... Arcanine. Arcanine is currently in the rarely used tier, and it definitely is an underrated fire type to begin with. But in recent generations, it's been outclassed by fire Pokemon like Mega Charizard and Infernape. Arcanine was originally supposed to be a legendary Pokemon when it was first designed, so we do agree with the fans that this thing needs some way to gain more power, and a Mega Evolution would be perfect. We'd like to see Mega Arcanine actually have a dual fire electric typing. That way it can deal with its water weakness more effectively, at the cost of a 4 times weakness to ground of course. And it's definitely a typing that goes with its design theme and the fact that it can learn a few electric moves already. Mega Arcanine would work really well with the Rock Head ability, which would prevent it from taking recoil damage from its powerful stab attacks like Flare Blitz and Wild Charge. As for its base stats, we'd love to see it gain 30 attack, 20 defense, 10 special attack, 20 special defense, and 20 speed to make it a fast yet bulky physical attacker. I have always questioned set Pokemon, and as to why certain Pokemon will get Megas, but others won't. For example, Beedrill got a Mega, but Butterfree didn't. I also asked the same question about Frostlass not getting one, because Glalie actually did. Frostlass also happens to be my favorite Ice-type Pokemon, so when Glalie got a Mega and Frostlass didn't, 
I'll be honest, I was actually pretty dang salty. So I think we should get a Mega Frost Slash in Generation 8, along with a bunch of other fans that want it. Frost Slash being based off of a Yukiona makes this Mega Evolution design a lot more fun. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see a bigger dress on it along with longer sleeves. Mega Frost Slash could lure more guys than regular Frost Slash could, trust me. Read its Pokedex entries and you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about, because uh, this thing is pretty freaking scary when it comes to luring men. Alrighty though, base stat upgrade time. Attack will stay at 80, defense will go to 85, special attack will go to 130, special defense will go to 95, and speed will rise to 130. As for its abilities, I think I'll give it Shadow Tag. Based on its origin, I think Shadow Tag works well for it. It traps people after all. Give us Mega Frostless, please. And the number one Mega that fans want for Gen 8 is... Yep, you guessed it, Flygon. Ever since Megas were introduced, fans have been desperate for a Mega Flygon to be revealed. What's terrible is that Ken Sugimori of Game Freak has even said in an interview that there were plans for Mega Flygon, but due to design challenges, it had to be dropped from consideration. We've even been teased about it by a character named Arun in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, who, upon giving you Garchomp's Mega Stone, says, And I'll give you this fella, too. It doesn't do a thing for me and my loyal Flygon here. Ah. <sighs> Flygon is definitely an underpowered dragon type, and its design is so incredibly cool and almost ubiquitously loved by fans around the world. We'd like to see a Mega Flygon take advantage of Vibrava's Dragonfly look and actually become dragon and bug type, like one of these designs, which would be an entirely unique typing and would really suit it. After all, there are not too many ground types with wings anyway, and it gets rid of its 4 times weakness to ice. In addition to U-Turn, which it already has, Mega Flygon would be able to learn other stab bug moves such as Bug Buzz and X-Scissor. Mega Flygon could have a brand new ability called Internal Flame, based on Flygon's desert habitat, which allows it to retain heat in its body and mitigates the cold, which lowers the power of Ice-type moves being used against it by 50%, therefore eliminating one of its main weaknesses entirely. In terms of its base stats, we'd like to see Mega Flygon have plus 30 attack, plus 10 defense, plus 30 special attack, plus 10 special defense, and plus 20 speed, which would work really well in tandem with Dragon Dance. In this scenario, Flygon's natural bug-like inclinations and exceptional vision has caused it to Mega Evolve in a way that allows it to account for different types of prey in the harsh desert, and as such it has extraordinary abilities for escaping through burrowing and having to traverse quickly upon an unstable surface, such as sand which increases its speed. It also has learned to use both physical and special attacks when needed against different types of prey, making it an awesome mixed attacker when it mega evolves. We're gonna look at our three honorable mentions in just a sec, but first I want to give a quick shout out to the amazing artists who designed these megas. If you like their work, be sure to check out their links in the description after this video. Before we end off, let's take a look at three honorable mentions. These are three Pokémon that were voted in between the 11th and 13th places, meaning they were just off of making the top 10, but are definitely worth giving a quick mention to and deserve Mega Evolutions almost just as much. The first is Lapras, which, from being a central Pokémon of Ashes in the anime for almost an entire season, to being the signature riding Pokémon for Surf in the video games, has always been a popular one and could definitely use a buff in the competitive metagame. Next is Chandelure. I'm not gonna lie, the love for this Pokemon in the polls kind of surprised me, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized it would be a really cool mod to have a Mega, with its unique typing and slightly subpar yet improvable base stats. And finally, we have Haxorus, which is in a similar situation to Kingdra in that it's fairly underpowered relative to other Dragon types, and its design has amazing potential for a new Mega form since it already looks so cool. Well, there we go everyone, we've done it. The top 10 Mega Evolutions that fans want most for Gen 8. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more awesome Pokemon content. Also, make sure to let us know in the comments what Mega Evolutions you most want to see in Gen 8 and any ideas you might have for them. Lastly, I'd like to extend huge thanks to my friend Mystic Umbreon for working with me in this video. Make sure to check out his channel if you haven't already and show him some love. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next week for another video.